don't know how many leaderboards there are in the north course, but did you have an idea that what you needed to do today as far as going low on that course before tomorrow with all the rain and everything that's coming in? Yeah, I mean, I know the forecast isn't great for tomorrow. Um, to be honest, since they've redone the north, it's not it's not that easy. Uh, the greens are pretty firm. They had some speed. Um, it's certainly easier than the south still, but it's not it's not a cakewalk by any means. So, uh, you know, I think anything you shoot in the 60s on the north is pretty darn good score. Good to see you, man. Um, is there a comfort level of walking on these grounds from all the, the past experiences and stuff? Yeah, for sure. I've had uh, I've had some pretty good success here. I played here uh, last year, played pretty well. Yeah. Um, junior World, I think I won here, finished second here. Right. Um, to be fair, obviously, we never played the North. We always just played the South. So um, I love it here. I mean, I think it's a, a real test. You don't get any. Um, you know, weird stuff happening out there. It's it's a tough test, but it's right in front of you. You know exactly what you need to do on every shot, and it's just a, a matter of whether you execute the shot or not. What was the highlight today? Um, I hit a great seven iron into the. They switched the nines now, so I guess it's the eleventh hole. Pretty long par four. Hit it to about a foot. That was that was a nice shot. Um, but today I hit it as well as I've hit it in a long time, which I'm really excited about. Worked really hard this off season and saw some really good results at home, and just you know got to sometimes be patient and wait for it to bleed into the tournament but uh, what, today was a nice step in the right yeah. direction what did you work on and, and I know it's been a little bit of a struggle here to start a game so mm -hmm. what's it been like yeah well I mean I've only played one week I played last week first yeah. one um, sure. and you know it wasn't great but nothing to get too alarmed about uh, but yeah I worked on some technical stuff uh, with my golf swing and uh, Dana Dahlquist who's helped me out quite a bit so uh, I've been very fortunate to have a lot of time with him um, and fortunate timing to have, you know, five, six weeks to actually go and, and work on it because sometimes when you make fairly significant changes or at least it feels significant, um, you know, it's tough to just put straight into competition. So I was glad to have some time and not have to, you know, force shooting low scores right away. I just, I wanted to make sure I was doing things right and learning most importantly yeah. um, so that I can hopefully, you know, help myself on the golf course when I don't have his eye looking at it. Um, and I, I feel like I'm progressing in that direction, which is great. Certainly a long way to go, and this is one round in, in, you know, in the 60s. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm pleased with the trajectory of my game, and uh, I'm optimistic about what this year is going to bring. It's, it's nice to get a result, though, isn't it? Oh, no you doubt. I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's what we're all looking for, right? It's validation. Um, and to be fair, getting results at home was, was nice as well because, you know, it kind of, you know, you start doing it well in the range and then you can take it to the course at home and then you want to obviously ultimately bring it to competition and then bring it to high leverage situations in competition and that's when you know you really got yeah. it. So, uh, like I said, I'm stepping in that direction, which I'm really excited about. What's the home course for you, Jake? Uh, in Austin, Spanish Oaks. Okay. Yeah. Um, and how have you managed your patience through these last couple of years as mm -hmm. far as expectations versus results? Yeah, it's tough. Um, I want to I want to compete and win. Uh, but when you're when you're hitting it kind of all over the place, it's hard to do that. As you know, the scores on tour most weeks is 15 to 20 plus under par. And the fact is, is you're just not going to shoot those scores with your putter alone. I've putted really well, but I've just not hit my irons well. I've not hit my wedges well. And um, that's obviously what I put a lot of work into and I will continue to do that um, because you know I think once I do that I, I have a great chance to be you know a really good player yeah. out here and um, with that said it's a process like you said the expectations are high other people have expectations not that that really affects me whatsoever but um, you know I know what I'm capable of doing and it's just a matter of executing and doing that again thank you sir cool thank you good to see you all righty well played thanks